Hey MCC, welcome along on another trip. So we're well into the trip. Uh, if you look behind me, you'll see a river. That would be the Clearwater River in Idaho. We left Kennewick this morning and uh, we're going up to Orofino and then we're gonna go up 11 and cut down to what's called the North Fork of the Clearwater where there's 45 miles of gravel road that goes along uh, the North Fork of the Clearwater that's remote and goes to what's called Kelly Creek which is world famous trout fishing. Uh, but we have something interesting. If you notice, this is an orange and it's not red. We did something. <laughs> we picked up a 2015 uh, JK, which is just tricked out to the max. Can't believe how clean this Jeep is. Full EVO, converted the King coilovers. Uh, we're gonna have to do some modifications for overlanding. Got it loaded and I had to put it in the shop this morning and adjust the coilovers because I had so much sag before we left town. Now it just rides awesome. So anyway, we're uh, getting a little food going. Uh, Hong's gonna have some uh, soup. I'm gonna make a little sandwich here on the side of the river. And then we're gonna skedaddle down the road to get to Kelly Creek and uh, have us a really good time. So we'll catch up down the road. Peace. Well, so we're in uh, Whippy, Idaho. Wow, crazy little town. Don't know the history, it's old. Probably some pretty interesting history, that's for sure. Working our way toward the North Fork of the Clearwater and eventually Kelly Creek. Uh, gotta go to Pierce and then we start heading toward uh, the river. So anyway, this is kind of a cool mural on this old building, I thought. Love driving the new JK. It needs to be orange though. If you think we should paint this to match the LJ, give me a comment below but you know that looks an awful lot like brad's jeep i think on trail recon don't you think same year model i think maybe somebody better tag him you can put some vintage trail recon stickers on it <laughs> peace well we made it to the north fork of the clearwater river and it is a busy labor day weekend there are people everywhere <laughs> yeah, I'll turn this around. I didn't uh, I didn't think there'd be that many people down here because this is seriously in the middle of nowhere. But the redfish are running in the river, so a lot of people are coming to see the, the fish run. Uh, but also, it's a holiday weekend. So anyway, we got to find a place to camp. It's beautiful here. We've been driving quite a bit since we videoed last, trying to find a campsite. A lot of places are full. We found some uh, places that were a little more remote by ourselves, but this is a pretty good place right here in this National Forest Campground. And we're gonna stick here because this weekend, we're gonna leave camp set up and then go driving. And I feel better leaving gear and stuff here than just on the side of the road in the middle of nowhere. So anyway, this is cool. We're gonna get this all set up. Uh, we're gonna have a place to uh, No fire so the fire pits blocked, but we have our propane pit But we are going to have a beautiful place To put our chairs and look at the river North Fork of the Clearwater River Gorgeous Hopefully I catch some fish. 
I'm gonna try. All right, time to get camp set up. All right, I'll get the tin out. Time to start our routine. Jeep's not yeah. too level. Oh my God, look the way I got the Jeep. <laughs> well, I'm gonna use the table. I'm not gonna cook out of the back of the Jeep, so it don't matter. All right, Sonny, you stay here. Well, it's time to get a little dinner going here at camp. Hong's getting the bed set up, and as usual, I'm on kitchen duty. So, uh, I wanna take a minute and just show you my kitchen real quick without elaborating too much and boring you to death. But, uh, you know, if you're into overlanding like, like we are, some people geek out on this stuff. So, pretty basic, you know, like I've said in the past. So, uh, uh, yeah, I, we're running two Yeti coolers. This little guy right here is just a small one that I started using just for pop and soda and lemonade, whatever, and ice because I have a soft Yeti cooler. It's garbage, don't keep ice for a day. And then this one, which is a Yeti cooler, like a 35, I think, only for meats. You know, if it's not sealed, we vacuum pack it. So this is, and then we don't have to open this when we're going, you know, getting in and out for soda. Coleman stove, I've had every stove known to mankind. Well, I, I, I guess I can't say that. I haven't had like a high-end jet boil, but I just go back to the Coleman. So little cutting board. So I have one bucket. This is all my utensils. So I, I already have stuff out of here, pans and plates and stuff. My toaster, GSI pot, thong, a little pot. MSR water purifier, if I need to purify water, a wind block, gloves. So this is just uh, pretty much all my pots, pans, utensils, things like that. And then this is my pantry. I take this when we do multi-day trips. It's got a couple of trays that sit on top. And I've got uh, condiments that I get from mini marts. Buy a hot dog and get a bunch of uh, condiments. Hong head soup today. So we have potatoes in here. Uh, Instead of cans, I'm starting to go for bags of chicken, bags of salmon, but uh, you know, I have you know cans of mushrooms, tomato paste, uh, diced tomatoes, my mustard, some canned chicken, rice, spam, believe it or not, oatmeal, dried potatoes, my coffee, noodles, on and on and on. So this is kind of a, a pantry that I always replenish and I take this on a multi-day trip because I can do a whole lot with this little pantry. For just a single day trip, I have everything condensed into another bucket that stays in my garage um, for just saving space. So I call it my TJ box or just my day box. And this is kind of my multi-day setup. So, uh, you know, I, I'm not sure what I'm gonna do now that we have the new JK. I really don't have any plans of doing built-in drawers just because of the, the weight that it uh, adds to the vehicle, even though it'd be incredibly convenient. But what's nice about the JK, it's wide enough that now my buckets can face outward and they're not side by side. It's a whole lot uh, wider than my LJ, that's for sure. So anyway, that's enough of this boring stuff. Uh, man, the river sounds good in the background here. You can just hear it rolling by. It's awesome. All right, we're going to get to cooking. Well, here's what we're rocking at camp tonight. Some pretty basic American food. Oh yeah, some New York strips. Got oh, that one a little crunchy. Some New York, uh, portobello mushrooms, asparagus, and hopefully not burned potatoes. Better stir those. So, uh, pretty basic American food tonight. It can be some good stuff sitting here by the stream. You hungry, Hong? I'm starving. All right, peace out. Well, Hong, dinner is served. Let's see what we got rolling here. Oh, some New York strip under those portobello mushrooms. A little asparagus and garlic mashed potatoes. Right on. And of course, a little red wine. Hong just got her hammock set up. So she's ready to chill. We're not rolling everywhere doing miles on this trip. Well, we drove five and a half hours to get here. So this is our base camp for two days. And then we're going to explore. All right. I'm ready, man. Wow, oh, food, food, yeah. Right on, peace out. Well, what do you think? Pretty nice campsite, huh? This is what you call the middle of nowhere. We drove 256 miles to get here today. Wow. So hey, we deployed some, some Christmas lights. Maybe we beat Costco. Oh no, wait a minute, does Costco have Christmas decorations already? 
Yeah. That's oh, I hate that. Uh, I thought maybe I beat Costco. <laughs> Some lights going. Hey, doggy. Yeah. Well, fire pit works good. Still fire bands. So, no fires. Just getting all the food put up. There is a lot of bears here. And so, we can't leave any food laying around. So, uh, my little kitchen that you saw earlier pretty much just sets here with a couple of buckets in my cooler. Gets put away pretty easy. Looking forward to, looking, whoa. There we go. Looking forward to tomorrow. place if you ever get a chance to come to the north fork of the Clearwater it's an amazing place it's uh, it's a long drive to get up here because it's definitely there's one way in through Pierce or through Superior Montana to drop into here uh, the Forest Service does a great job down here uh, campgrounds are nice God, that's a cleaner bathroom than I have at home <laughs> it's nice yeah so we got the fire pit going I'm hoping the rain backs off because I want to do some fly fishing today and if you're a fly fisherman, rain doesn't make us happy. So probably this afternoon will be good, but it'll be a waste of time uh, right away. So uh, we're probably gonna do some driving today. Today's gonna be the day to explore. There's gonna be no dust, so that's good. We'll go stretch your legs on the new JK a little bit and see what we can see. Hopefully it doesn't rain more. I did bring a tarp. I bought one from Kelty on sale from Cabela's. Uh, Probably wouldn't have bought it if it wasn't on sale because they're not worth 180 bucks. But it's cool. It tarps off the back of the Jeep with a pole because we're eventually probably going to have a rack on this one and uh, go to the dark side and get a rooftop tent and some stuff on top of it. <laughs> That's why we bought this one. You know, and really, if we had our choice, we'd have our trailer this time. But there's no trailer wiring on this. We have a hitch, or we would have had our trailer this time because that's the whole intention of this JK is to have enough horsepower so we can use our Overland trailer when we want to. So anyway, I'm going to put yak and have this coffee, sit down and enjoy this fire. Oh yeah. That's nice.
Well, he's a baby, but he's a fish. Back in the water here, quick. Still recording. Oh yeah. So, let's get him back in the water for a minute here. Kelly Creek Rainbow, right there. Let's send you home, okay? There you go. Bye bye. Yes, peace. That's a grasshopper. And this is a little 18 Prince nymph. That's what they're biting right there. This one floats like a bobber, and then they hit this one. And sometimes they hit the big boy. It looks like a Big Mac. You never know. This is Kelly Creek. Well, at least I didn't get skunk. Got a few fish, but it was tough. It's been a while. I'm out of practice. fishing today about 80 miles of driving just on gravel roads but it was nice and so uh, we put this awning up this is the one I talked about yesterday because I think it's gonna rain again tonight and if it rains in the morning I want to be able to come out and have some coffee and not be out in the rain so this is a pretty chill trip we just found the camping place set up we're trying to decide whether to run the road back and do some fishing tomorrow or go toward the Idaho BDR and over Toboggan Hill I don't know with the new Jeep we'll see but anyway we're gonna make uh, this is kind of the same stuff I made, uh, oh, when we did the trip up on Table Rock in the Blue Mountains. This is the uh, apple chicken sausage. We're going to do some pepper, cilantro, mushrooms. Uh, just a big rice dish. What do you call it? <laughs> a rice dish. Huh? rice dish. A rice dish. A rice dish. I don't know. But it's going to be good. So we haven't shot a lot of film this weekend. Hopefully we got enough to maybe put something together to share this with everybody. Um, anyway, we're going to get this cooked up and probably show you a picture of it when it's done. Peace. Let's do a little bit. Yeah. Just little pieces here. Little Try pieces not better, not yeah. Too fat. Last time I made them too fat.
big pieces. I want little ones. Yeah, some nice big pieces in there. Taking a video? Mm -hmm. Gonna be good, huh? Yeah. Get this going. I got a little soy sauce to put in it, and then uh, when it's almost done, cilantro. I have coriander in it. I didn't bring any ginger, so I did coriander and basil. Mm -hmm. And uh, we don't need spice because I've got the poblano pepper in it. Let's burn a couple of the peppers. It's gonna be good. Yeah, it'd be good. Kind of like hamburger helper, but different. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so that's it. Finished with cilantro, a little soy sauce. Has the apple sausage, <laughs> poblano peppers, red peppers, onions, uh, portobello mushrooms, uh, all kinds of good stuff. Yes. Anyway, this is going to be pretty good. Pretty I'm good. Look forward to this. All right, I'm going to serve this bad boy up here. You hungry, Hung? Yeah. Yes. Kind of colorful, isn't it? Kind of like uh, Chinese goulash. <laughs> like the Chinese chow fan. Chow fan? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> Drop the camera. Chow fan. Camera almost <laughs> flipped down the camera. Chow fan. <laughs> what is chow fan? It's cooked the rice. Oh, the pieces of the pepper is a little crispy there. We're going to have leftovers tomorrow. All right, yeah. I'll put this here. I'm gonna cover this up with foil to keep it warm. Yes. In case you want more. Right there. Yeah, it's cool. Dinner. Oh, oh, I guess we need some fork. You want a fork or a spoon? Oh, uh, spoon. Fork or top sticks? Spoon. Okay. All right. All right, gonna be good. Good. All right, let's see. Good? <laughs> yeah, it's good. It's good. It's good. Yeah, especially by the fire. <laughs> I like this in one bowl because we don't have to set it at the table and cut a steak, you know? Yeah. Set here by the fire. It's good. I guess we technically have a fire here. People had fires, but uh, we already brought this, so we're using it. Uh, I didn't even bring anything to make fires with other than my chainsaw. Uh, All right. Good trip. Hey, good morning, MCC. Glad you're sticking around. Hope this adventure's not too boring, but we're having a good time. A little different. So anyway, the old familiar saying, coffee, but this time it's under the awning because it's raining. And this is about ready to rock and roll right here. So... Try not to burn my finger. Yeah, this thing's usually not hot, but sometimes it is. So, uh, yeah, we got some strong coffee going. Hope it's strong. Only woke up about six times last night. All right. So, this uh, little awning off the back of the Jeep is nice. I mean, it's not as nice as a, a big wraparound awning as far as space but uh, it actually traps the heat pretty good from the fire pit down there. So anyway, today's last day. Today's the day we were actually gonna go do some trail riding and we're still going to. I don't think it's gonna be muddy. Most of the roads up there are rock. So uh, if we get things broke down in time, we're heading all the way up, up back up Kelly Creek and up, I think it's the 270, it goes up over what's called Toboggan Hill and over to the Lolo Motorway, which is part of the Idaho BDR. And we're gonna run that over to Lowell where we can get gas. So anyway, I'm going to get myself some coffee, sit here in the rain, <laughs> and enjoy it. It's, it's actually nice. It smells good. It feels good. We live in the desert. It doesn't always rain a lot. And uh, anytime you can get rain, oh, God, it, it, it's nice. So uh, got to look at the bright side. All right. Peace. Good morning, everyone. Rain day. Wow, rain all, rain all night. Good morning, Sunny. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Hi. Coffee, yeah. I want the coffee. coffee. Sunny, you want some coffee? <laughs> <laughs>
Nice. I like the rain though. Oh, it's yeah, so love the rain, love the night. Beautiful. Beautiful. Nice. A lot of people are rains like this. Oh no, rain, rain. The rain's like, good. No, good. I like it. Now, would I like it to be nice weather better? <laughs> yeah. Because I want to fish, and fishing sucks. You can't fish in the rain. Yeah. That's all right. A little trail riding today. Fun. fishing but this little creek that we just crossed there's a great little run here i'm gonna throw a little dry fly on just for a minute Let's see if i get lucky yeah that's the fish oops missed I missed come on there it is this is a swirl knot Yeah, I don't think this Jeep had a scratch on it when we bought it. I think that's about to change. <laughs> oh yeah, look at this. There's gotta be trout in here. Look at this. Oh yeah, I oh, can't get down there. Very easy. Yeah, because I don't want to take the time to put my waders on. Get wet. We don't have that kind of time.
We're coming back here. Absolutely. All right, I think we're gonna start climbing again from the creek. Slides. Hope there's none of that going on with all this rain that's been happening. JK smooth. So we are on uh, Toboggan Ridge heading toward uh, the Lolo Motorway. If you follow our video, we've done the Lolo Motorway in Idaho BDR 4th of July this summer. So this is con gonna connect with that. And uh, we're probably gonna do some of the Lolo Motorway backwards if we have enough gas. Looks like we do. But uh, man, like in the JK, getting his first scratches through the trees. I don't think anybody ever has taken this baby through the trees. It's in pretty good shape. But yeah, this is a great little trail. I'm gonna show you what we're going up right now. Check this out, Hong. Huh? Get a little rocky. So we should be able to get on top of uh, Toboggan Mountain. There's a road that goes up to it uh, for a lookout. So, uh, never been here before, so I don't know what to expect. We we'll look off of there. being wider than the LJ. Quite a bit wider. All right, well, we're on fun. Peace. we're in the clouds. That means we're climbing a lot. I think we're going up to about 6,000 feet. Something like that. I know we've been going up. being up in the clouds, huh? Yeah. In the clouds. We're high. Yeah, we, we're getting close to, uh, we're probably going to be up to about 6,000 6, feet. 6,000, I think so, yeah. Yeah. Uh, there's a trail that goes up on Toboggan Mountain, but there's probably no reason to do it. Can't see anything.
Oh, 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 <laughs> That's a deep car wash. Deep car wash. I have to send this video to Bill. <laughs> See, showing what we're doing to the beautiful Jeep that he sold us. <laughs> We've been doing miles of this. Miles. We are heading toward the Lolo Motorway. And like I mentioned earlier, we're on Hurricane Ridge. It comes up from Kelly Creek. In the North Fork of the Clearwater. Yeah, it's gonna be a little scratched up. That's what we got it for. Just put more stickers on it. <laughs> <laughs> more stickers. Sorry. I need to come up here grouse hunting. A lot of grouse. Not real smart, are they? Mm -hmm. So they're gonna walk down the road in front of us or they're gonna fly? Four of them now. They fly? Nope, they're gonna run. <laughs> fly. There they fly, up into the tree. Ten feet. <laughs> they're good to eat. So we finally just came out of the clouds. Been a lot of miles of clouds. So we're coming to uh, Cayuse Junction, which is uh, the intersection where uh, we go into the 500 road, which is known as Lolo Motorway, also known as the Idaho Backcountry Discovery Route. We went through there this year, and this is the road that goes down to Kelly Junction that we're on now. So we're gonna go down there and get some lunch. Uh, we got enough gas to make it, but one thing I learned don't trust the computer on a JK when it tells you how far you can go on gas. They're wrong. <laughs> I'll be using my calculator from now on. But we got enough gas. We just, it's uh, against my character because I do not like going in the backcountry without cans of gas. And there are no gas mounts on this Jeep yet, but it's about to get them. So anyway, we're gonna roll down this road. We can actually see a little bit out here. I don't know the history of Cayuse Junction. Most of these places out here have something to do with Lewis and Clark and Ms. Pierce. It won't be long, it'll be snowing up here. Cayuse Creek. That's where we're at on this little bridge. So we just finished uh, Hurricane Ridge and uh, right up the road here is what they call Cayuse Junction. I, I'm not really sure of the history. I have to find out. Gotta be trout in here. Wow, this is cool. You can see us. That's a cool road, huh? Yeah. Have to do it sometimes when we're not in the clouds. Somebody come get a walk. You know, we were in the clouds all day. day. We have not had breakfast. We've had snacks in the Jeep, but we got up early and packed this morning. And so we're running on coffee and it's like 1.30 or 2 o'clock, which is a little silly. But we're going to go make some food. And we'll see you down here making lunch. Well, let's see what I do to my Jeep. Oh, look it. I bet. Hit my license. Oh, look at what the bushes did to the license plate. Yeah, the Jeep car wash. Fold that in a little bit. I'll be breaking that off. Yeah, I had to wipe the door handles off. Couldn't grab the door handle. Yep. All right. Down the road we go. And that's where we just came from. Kelly Creek. 33 miles of that trail. I estimated about 26 to 28. I was a little off. 
not too far. All right, up the road we go here. There, no mud, put in the grass. Campsite. Yeah, we'll go over to that campsite. It's weird not having a stick shift. Well, we're here at Cayuse Junction, here at the Lolo uh, intersection of Lolo Motorway, what they call the Road 500. Don't get much better than this, doesn't Hong? Yeah. Opened up the back of the Jeep. Grabbed our buckets, got uh, got some burgers to cook up. Hong's already got needlepoint rolling. <laughs> what are you doing there? Needlepoint. And then, uh, man, necessary coffee. I'll tell you what, if you like Melita style coffee, these little fold up. It's a little, you know, kind of polyurethane thing made by Ortlib. Works pretty good coffee. All right, so uh, it's pretty easy, you know. We just pull the buckets out and grab stuff. So uh, let me spin this thing around here, see what we got going on. So we've got, uh, I think, about 18 miles to go down uh, the 500 road they refer to, Lolo Motorway. And then we're going to be at the Locksaw Lodge and gas up. And it'll be tire air up time. And we got probably about a five hour drive home. So I'll get these burgers going. Uh, we're going to share some things down Lolo Motorway again. Uh, we'll get the Indian Post Office, a few historic sites. Uh, that we, We've been there before, but man, it's great. Okay, so we're going to get rolling. Have a little lunch. See you down the trail. As always, thanks for tagging along with us on the MCC Adventure. Peace. You happy now? I'm happy now. Hong was a little I'm cold. I had to wrap now. her up in a blanket. Yes. And put her hat on. <laughs> it is cold. All, All right. right. Burger time. Change of plans for Hong. Mm. She's cold. I'm How's the hot soup? How's the hot soup? Good? Yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to eat this burger. Right on. This is the only way to have lunch. Well, you know what? Once again, not a bad trail burger. <laughs> of my Smurf hat. Got my other hat. <laughs> Good burger. Mmm. That's good. Jeep Jitsies, baby. Mmm. <laughs> Not bad. Well, it won't be long. We'll be on the highway. We got some cool trails to do still, though. Yeah. I love the Lolo Motorway. Mm. Pretty cool here. Real. All right, lunchtime is over. We just started climbing. Cayuse Junction is back there behind us. So we are now on Lolo Motorway. So we got the tires down. I remember this being rocky, so we're down to 10 pounds in the front, 12 in the back. A uh, whole lot smoother. And all around, it's just way smoother than my LJ or my TJ. It's amazing. These coil over king shocks, they definitely get the job done. Red's kind of cool. It's rocks. Can't see nothing out there but fog. Next up, Powell, Waxhaw Lodge. Yeah, I gotta do some of the rear bump stops.
Here we are. This is uh, the start of the Lolo Motorway. This is where we began the journey for the second part of the Idaho BDR back in July. Um, so I think we're about a mile from the highway. We're going to run down here and uh, air up and then get some gas. Share these signs with you in a minute. A step back in time, you're about to discover the Lolo Trail. The Lolo Trail is a historic landmark on the National Register of Historic Places. Yeah, that's cool. Oh, sorry, I can't read. My ears are plugged from elevation. That's probably better. So, historic Lolo Trail. Forest born of fire. Yeah, lots of fires here before. In fact, I remember the fire on the news here a long time ago. Don't know what year that was. So anyway, back in the car we go. We got a long drive back to Kennewick. We're going to be home probably 11 o'clock tonight. So um, we'll go down here and get the tires aired up, go get some gas, and then, man, we got to burn the highway going back. Sonny, you ready to go home? You ready for your own bed? Yeah, I am. I'm tired. <laughs> okay. Well, MCC, there's that old familiar sound. Except this time, tires being aired up. Except now this isn't quite as obnoxious as the LJ. If you notice, we're rolling the JK. Has onboard uh, ARB. I'm doing two at a time. So I start at one, gonna go to the other one, it's gonna be a little faster, but uh, you know, we appreciate you tagging along. Kind of a different trip. We didn't go out just to keep skipping and covering a lot of ground. You know, we base camped for a couple days, but then did some really good trails today. I hope you enjoyed the end of the video coming from Kelly Creek up, uh, I called it Hurricane Ridge earlier, but that's wrong. It's uh, Toboggan Ridge. Gotta get these things straight. So Toboggan Ridge up to the Lolo Motorway and back down to the Locksaw in uh really foggy today it was kind of cool so i hope you enjoy it and as always if you like what we do hit that like button give us a comment and by all means subscribe helps us build the channel we appreciate you tagging along and we will see you down the trail peace I roll my window up I'm not used <laughs> to my old jeep i reach you over i'm going like this don't work oh shit i got a button oops <laughs> oops <laughs> This thing ain't even a Jeep. It ain't even fair. It's just something kick ass. It's not a Jeep. <laughs> but it's badass.